All right, everybody got me? All right. Well, we uh, started practice 12 today, uh, you know, coming down to the, to the wire here, uh, finishing up uh, our second spring. Um, uh, obviously a spring that's been uh, watching a football team continue to improve every day. You can see their improvements. Uh, great energy today. Again, uh, I want to commend our guys and commend our staff on the energy level that these guys come out every day with. You have a lot of professors uh, at practice today. This is their, their day. We invited our professors out to to watch practice and be around, and uh, we'll have our professor dinner tonight um, as we as we transition from the press conference up to, to have all our professors here, and, and uh, our players get to invite them to dinner and sit with them and, and just fellowship. Um, and uh, so it's great to see them around. I had a lot of volunteers from our children's hospital that we invited out today to come to practice and, and get a facility tour and just be a part of our program, just help us as, as, we, as we lock arms. Uh, and, and give back to our to our community and give back to our great state and to see them around here was really really inspirational uh, I thought it was a really good day offensively probably one of the best days that they've had this spring they won the belt today which was uh, which was good uh, they've been close uh, but turnovers have uh, prevented that uh, today was was uh, um, they did much better on the turnovers while we still had two turnovers uh, they uh, they were able to execute on first down and, and some big plays and with opportunity to win the belt. That was good to see. Again, these guys just continue to improve on both sides of the ball. Uh, and so I'm excited about where this football program is going. We'll be back on the field on Thursday and obviously Saturday for our for the spring game. So we'll be back out there on Monday uh, to where we'll close down a spring practice is, is what we'll be dealing with during the summer work. That'll be Monday's practice. So with that, I'll, I'll open up. Right before you left for spring, you said that the team's got to keep getting tougher. So the attack drill was instituted after that. What, what do you make from that standpoint? Well, I just it's a mindset. It's what it is. It, it's, it's, a, it's a mental and physical toughness that we've got to have and we've got to be better at as, as a staff, as a team, um, from a strength staff. I mean, everybody, the whole program. And, and that's been an emphasis that we've had. I don't want to hear excuses. Um, you know, excuses take away from that mental and physical toughness that we're about. And so we've, uh, we've tried to incorporate drill work, um, and obviously competing for the belt has helped. I think that's been a huge thing for us. Um, and, and again, you know, obviously you've seen some of the drills that we're doing, and we're going to continue to do that. We'll do some more of those on Thursday. But um, I, think it's, I think it's helped. I think this football team, again, we're not where we need to be, but we're getting a lot, a lot better. Is the professor dinner, is that something that you've done before or last year, I guess, and did you do it at SMU? And also, is it, I guess, just kind of a way to just put faces and names and just open lines of communication? Yeah, it's something we've been doing for quite some time, and uh, it's an opportunity for our players to invite their professor, whichever professor they choose. We've been working on this now for, for several months, and they have to um, personally invite them and invite them to practice if they want to come, and if not, come eat dinner with them uh, and set with them. And then they'll introduce them to us, and just it's more or less. It's just you know we're all in this together. We're all we're all the University of Arkansas. We're all Razorbacks, and uh, we want our professors to come out and see the life of, of of our student athletes and the life of our football players, and be able to watch a practice and engage and take pictures. And um, it is something we've been doing for quite some time, and we did it last year. Um, and so it was a, uh, a you know very very just something to for our players to give back and to to just sit and for them to see our, our players in a different light than just in a classroom setting. Um, this is the first time the offense has won it? I believe so. There was a day that uh, they, they should have won it, but because of lack of communication among some of the staffing, the support staff, they have defaulted the belt. It's oh. on everybody. Okay. Absolutely. What, what specifically did you see from them today? What kind of plays did you see? In why? Yeah, I thought I thought I saw you know the biggest thing I saw was consistency, you know the the the, uh, the lack of, of of TFLs, which is a big thing that we count. Their tackles for loss um, was 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 huge. There were some big plays. Um, Chase Hayden had a big play uh, to start off a, a drive and um, they scored. And so just uh, you know things like that, uh, but more more or less consistency and positive yards uh, on first and second down. Um, didn't see Dalton Hyatt today, and, and could you go over guys who might not play in the spring game, like Dewa and you know CJ? And there's probably a, 
handful? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll know more on CJ um, probably to, today, later today or tomorrow. Um, Dalton has a flu, so he, we hope to have him back. This kind of ran through a few of our players. Um, Devois, we hope to have him back Thursday and to be back out there practicing and playing um, some on Saturday. We'll know more uh, tomorrow. I know he's feeling better. Um, we'll see Drew Best should be back. Silas is a possibility. It was good to get those guys back out there in green. Um, and, you know, Colton Jackson is out. Um, went in and had his surgery. It wasn't near um, what we thought it was, so he'll be back a lot quicker. He'll be back probably in a couple of weeks, which is good. Uh, Davion McClure is back, so he'll be back out there. Um, but uh, I think really, for the most part, we're getting a lot of guys back outside of the, the normal ones that haven't been with us. Well, I, I, I had another running back question for you. Um, because Chase and uh, I guess Jordan Curtis have been kind of the main guys, what have you seen in terms of progression and anybody else that could help for the short term and long term? Well, you know, I, I think that we've, we've got some guys that came out there that joined us this spring that have helped us out. Um, they've done a good job. Um, but, uh, you know, as they transition and, and move forward, you know, we'll see. But I, I think that it's, you know, the reps that Chase has gotten this spring has really benefited him. I think he's had a, a tremendous spring. Um, I think that he has really picked his game up in some areas that that, uh, that we were we challenged him with. And, and uh, you know, from learning pass protection, which he's, he's been very, very sharp with, and um, understanding the offense a little bit more. But he's done a great job. I'm very proud of Chase. Um, Jordan Curtis, you know, moving from corner to running back. It's been a little bit of a um, kind of overwhelming at times with him. He's, he's um, you know, he's been inundated with a lot of information, but but has done some good things. We've seen some flashes there, so we'll continue to, to bring him along. Uh, you know, I wish Devois would have been back for the majority of the spring, but he's not. Um, but, uh, you know, again, we'll get Rakeem back in the fall and uh, we'll go from there. And, and uh, you know, Monte will be coming in and we expect him to be ready to play. Coach, I think I saw a video of Cam Curl and getting recognized in front of the team the other day. What was that about and what kind of experience he had? You know, I think he's, as I shared with him, I think he's he's been um, one of the top performers this spring, in my opinion, just watching him and his consistent play. I think his lead from leadership uh, to um, the way he's performed this spring, uh, even coming back in January, just the way he's approached his day-to-day -day work coming back in January and then leading into the second quarter of spring ball. Uh, Cam, is, Cam is representing uh, this program and he's, he's doing some really good things right now. And um, you can just see a, a complete and, and overall uh, different, just a different buy-in with him. And, and, and understanding that he's, you know, he's, such a, he's such a leader now on that defensive side. Um, so I think he's been one of our top performers this spring. There, there's no doubt, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And then he and Sosa both, uh, because I think both of those guys have, have been challenged um, and they have responded to the challenge. And the challenge has been we, we've got to have more consistency out of both of you. And they've done that. And they recognized in front of the team. Was that anything special? You know, I, I'm trying to go back. Was he, did he have the belt? Yeah, yeah. Well, we whoever wins the belt, uh, that side of the ball, which he probably either had the most tackles or he probably had the, the most turnovers or caused some turnovers or he had a big play or two in the in the practice before, and so he gets to walk in with the belt uh, with me at the end of at the, at the, at the start of a team meeting. So um, that's probably what it was right there. Do you do you plan to have the uh, coordinators in the box on Saturday? Or on the field? No, we'll be on the field. Uh, I'm going to have them on the field. It'll be much like a, a, a controlled scrimmage like we've had uh, last Saturday and the Saturdays prior to. Uh, it'll be um, it'll be a game setting, but it will be a lot of control. There'll be very little special teams. We'll have some. Uh, but uh, we'll spot the ball in different areas on the field and get some situational work in. But uh, they'll be on the field. You tied John Steven the other day. And if the offense won today, maybe the quarterbacks had good days. Can you speak to what, what they looked like? Yeah, I, I thought they both had a really good day. I thought Ben, uh, ben was um, very comfortable today. And again, his consistent play um, has, has just uh, continued to, to just you know, bring the offense along and 
progress all the quarterbacks. And so I think I think the quarterbacks today had a really good day. All, all of them did. You know, one of the things that we did today was we finished up, you know, we had a, a, a big scrimmage on Saturday. So um, over the last two days, we've really challenged our guys through watching the film of things we have to improve on and, um, and, and how they came out today at practice and was, was a big response, a big test. And because some of the guys, we did not think that it performed as well Saturday. And, um, and so we challenge them, as you do every week, every day. And, and so and those guys came out and they did a really good job of responding. And that's what you would expect and I would expect. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you all.